Hey kindergarten, it's Mrs. Shervani. How was your weekend? I hope it was great. I had a really nice weekend too. Thanks for asking. So I am super excited. We are starting a new listening and learning unit today all about the earth. So we are going to learn what makes the earth so special and how we can take care of it better. Because we all live on the earth together, it's really important that we work together as a big team to keep the earth healthy and clean, just like we keep our bodies healthy and clean. Because when the earth becomes dirty and polluted, it gets harder and harder for plants and animals and people to live here. So we have to find practical ways, even as kindergartners, that we can work together as a big team to keep the earth healthy. So today, you are going to learn what makes the earth. And I want you to listen out for the three substances that the earth is made of. You're going to hear one, two, three, and that will be your journal prompt for the end of this story. But before we start reading, do you think the earth can talk? I bet if I were in my classroom, I'd see a lot of no's. That means no in sign language. Yeah, I don't think that the earth can talk, but would it be cool with you guys if we pretended like it did? I thought it would be fun if I pretended like I was reading the stories as the earth. How's that sound? So I am going to try and put this beautiful flower that you would find on the earth in my hair. And when I put it in my hair, that means I've turned into the earth. Goodbye, Mrs. Shivani, and hello, Earth. Does that sound good? It might fall down, so I might have to take it off. I'm trying really hard to keep it in, but we'll see how it works. Sound good? Okay, so remember, you're listening out for the three things that the Earth is made of, and that will be your journal prompt for the end. Here we go. Hey, kids, it's me, Earth. Some people call me the world, some people call me the planet, and some even call me Mother Earth. But you can just call me good old Earth. This is what I look like from outer space, from somewhere beyond our friend the moon. From outer space, I guess I look pretty small. You can see that I am mostly blue. That's because I am mostly covered with water. But you can also see lots of green and brown. Those are the colors of the land where people live. Of course, I am also covered by a nice blanket of air. You can't see the air, but you can see the white clouds that float around in it. I've been here a long time, and I've seen many things. I just want to tell you that I'm truly amazed by you people, and I'm glad you're here with me today. You do so many amazing things. I like your farms and your nice little towns. I like the great big cities that you've built. They're incredible. I don't even mind the roads you built all over me. I like to feel your boats floating on my ocean seas and lakes. And your airplanes kind of tickle a little bit as they zoom through my skies. <laughs> oh. Most of all, I like you, kids. I like to feel your little feet running around. I like to hear your laughing. And I especially hope that you enjoy and appreciate all the beauty and amazing places on my surface. Let's take a look at some of these places together. People live on land, but you are not the only living things that depend on or need the land. Animals, plants, and people all need to share the land with each other. The flowers and grasses add such beauty to my surface. Of course, the flowers, trees, and grasses aren't there just to be pretty. They're important for all the creatures that live here. From the squirrels and the birds that live in the trees, to the bees that bzzz around drinking nectar from the flowers, to the animals that eat the grass. Oh 
And the same, it's the same with rivers and other bodies of water, such as lakes and streams. They're nice to look at, and they're nice to swim around in or paddle down in your canoe. But they're also home to many creatures, from fish to snakes and turtles to snails. And their waters are important in many ways for your people too. Mrs. Johnny's back here. Can you think of ways that water is important to people? How do people use water? We drink it. We take showers or baths with it. We water plants. We use water in a lot of ways. Oh, hey guys, it's the Earth. I'm back. I missed you. Here's a photo of the beautiful sky. On this day, the sun is shining brightly, and a few puffy white clouds are floating through the air. Every time you look up in the sky from now on, I want you to think of the air that's there. You'll want to listen very carefully when I tell you about keeping the airs in the skies clean. After all, the air is what you breathe every few seconds, every single day. <sighs> People are the most intelligent creatures here on Earth. You're the ones who built big cities and invented cars and computers. You take medicines for you make medicines for people and animals, and you have schools and airplanes and many other important things. You people are truly amazing. You can do so, so many things that no other living creature here on earth can do. That gives you extra responsibility. That means it's your job because you're the smartest. All living things depend on you to take care of me. You have to share the earth. We, you're in it together. I want people to truly enjoy living here. Every morning when you wake up and see the sunrise, I hope you will say, great, it's the start of another wonderful day on beautiful earth. And to make sure that happens, I need to teach you about something I like to call taking care of the earth. I really need your help making sure that the air, water, and land stay clean so that you and all the other things that are living here can be safe healthy and happy and you kids can grow and really do a lot to help out and to make sure that all the other grown-ups do their part too so i hope you listen carefully over the next couple of stories because i have a lot of important things to share with you to do oh hey guys oh i heard that story that was a great story about the earth wasn't it <laughs> okay so did you hear the three things that the earth is made of Let's go back. Let's see. I love that. So what's this right here? Land. That's one thing that the earth is made of. And what's this in the sky? I think the earth said you can you can't see it, but you can see the clouds. Air. Yeah, this is the air. And then down here, what's this? Water. So those are the three things that earth is made of land, water, and air. Those are the three things. So you are going to write in your journals the three things that the earth is made of. That is your prompt for the day. I have one more extra question for you though. I want you to think about this one. Do you think that what we heard in this read aloud could really happen? Or is it all pretend or fantasy? What do you think? Think, 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 think. I think part of this read aloud is fantasy because the earth can't talk, right? <laughs> Mrs. Sharani's being silly. But we do depend on the earth for a lot of things. We depend on the earth's land, water, and air to survive. That's real. And that's so important. So today in your journal, draw those three things. I can't wait to see your responses. And tomorrow we will be back with learning about garbage. Stinky, stinky garbage. Have a wonderful Monday. Bye.